Hey, what's up, guys? Winston here, and uh, today is a sad day. Uh, my graphics card broke. Yes, you can see that. My fan broke. Um, so, what do I do? Well, I can take it apart and uh, put a water block in there and put that into my water cool system and so on, but I don't fancy that. So, what's the solution? Well, you can actually get uh, after kind of market, kind of third party air coolers. And I got myself one of these. It's the Accelero, the Arctic Cooling Accelero Extreme 4. Just a short message. This video was made possible thanks to Funky Media. You can support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by clicking on the affiliated links down below. If you're planning to make a purchase, why not visit our Amazon store uh, to find some great bargains. Thanks for your attention and enjoy the video. So this aftermarket cooler um, is an air-based cooler for your graphics card. Uh, it's very large, you can see there's three fans in there. And uh, according to the specifications, it uh, has maximum cooling capacity of 300 watts. Uh, and believe it or not, it's, uh, it's compatible with a wide range of graphics cards, including the uh, RX, the Radeon RX 580, 570, uh, even a 480, 470 and so on. Uh, and for the GeForce, believe it or not, uh, Titan XP and the Titan and uh, obviously the uh, GTX 1080 Ti's, uh, 1070's and so on. So it'd be interesting to see how well it performs and how well it cools my graphics cards, especially my uh, broken GeForce GTX 1080, that the fan anyway. So. Um, let's get cracking, let's do a quick unboxing. Uh, we'll mount this on the graphics card and uh, we'll put it in and see how well it performs. So, we'll see you later. So, let's begin. I have my um, broken uh, Zotex uh, GeForce GTX 1080. Uh, you can see the fan is broken, you can see the parts here. Um, yeah, so I need to actually replace the heatsink and fan with the, uh, the Arctic Cooling uh, Accelero Extreme 4. Um, so yeah, so uh, here it is, the Accelero Extreme 4 uh, from Arctic Cooling. And it's a aftermarket uh, third-party uh, air cooler for graphics card, and it's uh, suitable for, uh, believe it or not, all the high-end graphics card, including the Titan, the GeForce Titan there. And, uh, yeah, we'll be putting this into the uh, GeForce GTX. Uh, so uh, let's begin. Right, so <clears throat> after reading the instructions, um, you can see the bare PCB board and normally uh, with the old heatsink and fan, the original heatsink fan, uh, there are areas where it covers the uh, memory. Uh, obviously, it does heat up. But with the um, the Accelero uh, Extreme 4, the heatsink doesn't cover the um, or doesn't get in contact with the memory chip. So instead, it's provided this heat plate, this huge one. Um, which goes on the reverse side of the graphics card, the back in other words, and uh, this will sit over the memory uh, chips where the PCB board corresponds. So uh, the memory chips are, for example, here. You don't actually place any uh, thermal pads or heatsink over the uh, memory chips. Instead, you actually put it on the reverse side um, where the thermal pads will sit. And then the heat shield then, uh, or backplate will go on top of the back of the graphics card. So uh, interesting um, concept, kind of reversed uh, way. We'll see how that will work. Um, I'm not too worried because the Accelero has three fans and that's directly blowing over on top, uh, over the heat sink and uh, the fan grills. Uh, so uh, it will have some airflow over the chips anyway. So uh, let's continue and begin. So I've uh, put all the 
Thermal pads onto the uh, graphics card now, on the reverse side of the graphics card. Nicely laid out where all the memory chips are and also where the uh, MOSFETs and VRMs are. So um, now next is to put the, uh, the heat shield backplate onto the graphics card and, uh, and see how it goes. Alright, so we've completed our installation of the uh, Arctic Cooling Accelero Extreme 4, the air cooler for your graphics card. As you can see, it's uh, quite big and chunky. Uh, you've got the heat sink and fan with the heat pipes and also uh, the big uh, triple fan uh, system right here in the front there. And then the reverse side of the card, we have the um, heat sink the, the, for the, for the uh, RAM. Um, and also the, the MOSFETs and VRMs, but uh, it's not actually sitting on the RAM direct, it's on the reverse side of the card, but you've got the uh, thermal pads, and hopefully that'll transfer the heat across to the board, and then uh, you have the heat, uh, heat sink to actually get that cool. So if you look at it, it's quite a chunky, uh, it'll, it'll use up at least three PCI slots, you can see that. And um, yeah, let's put this into the system and give it a test and see what kind of uh, cooling performance we'll get out of this uh, Arctic Cooling Extreme, Accelero Extreme 4 uh, heat, uh, heat sink and air cooler for the uh, graphics card. As you can see earlier, the installation was fairly straightforward. However, it took us around about 45 minutes to complete the job. Once we installed the graphics card into the system and powered it up, GPU idle temperatures was around about 31 degrees, reaching to a maximum of up to 73 degrees Celsius, which was pretty impressive. Now you can check out the full review on our website via the links in the description down below. This is the Arctic Cooling Accelero Extreme 4, the aftermarket cooler for your graphics card. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a like and uh, click on the subscribe for more. Don't forget you can actually purchase all the items via the links in the description. Until our next video, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.